Why is the J-11B a key step for China's air force to get rid of its dependence on Russia? How did this aircraft, which carries a special historical mission, move from assembly and imitation to independent innovation? And what kind of technological foundation has it laid for the development of subsequent domestic heavy fighters? Let us travel through the time tunnel, back to the universal brand, equipment and independent innovation in the era of intense collision. In the early 1990s, when the first batch of Su-27 heavy fighters across Siberia to China, this maximum takeoff weight of 33 tons, equipped with advanced radar, sidewinder, fighter to the Chinese Air Force shock is no less than a technological revolution. At that time, the main force of the Chinese Air Force was still J-7, J-8 and other second-generation fighters, facing the rapid replacement of the neighboring F-15, F-16 and other fourth-generation aircraft. The technological gap is like a gap in the sky. 1992 to 1999, China imported in three batches of 76 Su-27 series fighters. These can launch or 27 medium-range bombs of the sword in the air quickly became the absolute main force in the defense of the airspace. However, relying on imports is not a long-term solution, and the agreement on the localization of the Su-27SK, signed in 1996, started the imitation road codenamed Project No. 11, the Xinyang Aircraft Corporation, SAC, assembled the F-22, which was the first aircraft to be produced in the United States. Although the J-11 assembled by Xinyang Aircraft Company has realized the localization of the airframe, the core and 001 radar and L-31F engines still need to be imported. And what is even more fatal is that its avionics system stays at the level of the 80S. The TS-100 fire control computer has only 170,000 operations per second which is a huge gap with the Western products in the same period. This, dancing in shackles, the embarrassment of the South China Sea in 2001 after the collision is more and more prominent, when the U.S. military EP-3 electronic reconnaissance aircraft from the collection of our electronic signals. We are even the core of the equipment is difficult to achieve independent security. The turnaround began at the dawn of the new century, with the breakthrough of the domestic 1,493 flat panel slit radar. The J-11B program launched in 2003, started the journey of transformation. The design team boldly used 30% composite materials to reconstruct the fuselage structure, reducing the empty weight to 16.3 tons and increasing the mounting capacity to 8 tons. More crucial is the comprehensive innovation of avionics system. The domestic pulse Doppler radar realizes a detection range of 150 kilometers and the computing power of the comprehensive avionics system is increased by 20 times, which, together with the Thunderbolt 12 active radar-guided missiles, forms a real medium-range air combat capability. The successful first flight of the J-11B in 2007 and the jumping home made Pinxian display in the glass cockpit of the J-11B, marking that China's aviation industry has finally broken away from the Russian shackles. The Chinese aviation industry has finally broken free from the Russian shackles. Behind this technological revolution, it is the reverse mapping of L31F engine by engineers in the brightly lit workshop of Xinyang Liming Engine Factory. It is the tens of thousands of waveform simulations carried out by scientific researchers in the laboratory of Chengdu Lydian Institute to break the bottleneck of N001 radar technology. And it is also the hundreds of hours of risky test flight logs that test pilots have written with their life. The September 2005 aerial flight, in which the J-11B was successfully launched. In the dangerous situation of air stop in September 2005, test pilot Li Zhonghua, with amazing courage, successfully restarted the engine at a height of 800 meters from the ground and saved the precious prototype. The Nirvana rebirth of J-11B is not a simple patchwork, but a systematic technology breakthrough. In order to crack the transonic trap in the original design of Su-27, Chinese engineers created the three-axis, four-degree digital fly-by-wire control system and reconstructed the nerve center of the fighter plane through more than two million lines of code. When the Taihong engine is not yet mature, it innovatively adopts the one machine, two types power program, which not only retains the adaptable interface of the L31F, but also reserves the upgrade space for the domestic power. What is more praiseworthy is the breakthrough of data chain system through the integrated processing system, J-11B has realized the tactical data sharing with Airborne Police 2000 AWACS for the first time, and this kind of Chinese system integration capability has made Russian experts marvel at the flight demonstration in Zhuhai Air Show in 2008. These technological deposits accumulated like a snowball and eventually gave birth to the J-15 carrier aircraft in 2012, 
Its flight control system is directly inherited from the J-11B research results, and the strength calculation of the folded wings is due to the breakthrough in composite materials research. When the J-16 multi-purpose fighter was unveiled in 2016, the outside world was shocked to realize that China had eaten through the entire essence of the flanker fighter. The avionics team nurtured by the J-11B program created the world's top active, phased array radar for the J-16. The technological reserves and composite materials that year enabled the J-16 to achieve a maximum bomb load of 12 tons while maintaining structural strength, and the continuous iteration of the digital flight control system ultimately birthed an intelligent control system that can coordinate 30 maneuvering surfaces at the same time. The code for these leapfrog advances has been buried in the J-11B's R&D process, when Russia is still complacent about the Su-35's, Snow Leopard, radar, Chinese engineers have been exploring the deep integration of radar and optoelectronic systems, and when India's Su-30MKI is still paying the price of flight for vectoring nozzles, our flight control team has mastered the comprehensive optimization of the aerodynamic power algorithms. Standing in the 2020s and looking back, the legend of J-11B is still continuing. After the mid-term upgrade of the J-11BG, the new gallium nitride radar, and turbofan 10B engine, the detection range exceeds 200 kilometers, and the combat radius extends to 1,500 kilometers, forming a powerful air control capability with the L-15 long-range missiles. What is more remarkable is its multi-purpose evolution. It can mount Eagle 91 anti-radiation missiles to carry out anti-aircraft suppression tasks and can carry optoelectronic pods to carry out precision strikes. The transformation of this kind of old tree with new buds precisely proves that the platform design of that year was ahead of its time. Nowadays, more than 300 J-11 series fighters, J-16 and J-20 form the three musketeers of the air with both offense and defense capabilities, and their trajectories are interwoven with the map which is a living history of China's aviation evolution. From relying on imported drawings to dominate the technical standard, from imitating the shape design to innovating the aerodynamic layout, the growth track of J-11B reveals the deep logic of China's military industry. The real independent innovation is never another stove but in the digestion and absorption to realize the genetic reorganization. The digital prototype system established for cracking the mystery of Su-27's structural strength has now become the standard R and D process in the aviation industry. The universal mounts developed for the integration of Russian weapon interfaces have evolved into the Chinese standard, compatible with Chinese and Western ammunition. Even the one machine two types, power layout initially regarded as a stopgap measure has accidentally given birth to the engine quick change technology. These seemingly accidental technological breakthroughs are in fact the inevitable flower of systems engineering thinking. When the latest batch of J-11BG swept over the Ju Ri and drill field, its wings flashed not only the cold light of the new photoelectric targeting pods, but also reflected the awakening of a major aviation country. From 1992, the first batch of Su-27, landed in Xinjiang, to 2022. J-11BG formed a complete combat capability. 30 years, Chinese aviation people with three generations of successive struggles, completed from the student to peer identity conversion. Those rivets engraved on the skin of J-11B, each one is telling a truth. The core technology can't come by fate. The wings of aviation power must be cast with its own steel.